every edition of BSD. This video will cover the history of BSD, an operating system very similar to Linux, and it will show you the different flavors in existence. Starting off with the most popular, we have FreeBSD. FreeBSD is a free and open source Unix-like operating system descended from the Barclay Software Distribution, BSD, which was based on Research Unix. The first version of FreeBSD was released in 1993. In 2005, FreeBSD was the most popular open source BSD operating system, accounting for more than three quarters of all installed and permissively licensed BSD systems. FreeBSD has similarities with Linux, with two major differences in scope and licensing. FreeBSD maintains a complete system, that is the project delivers a kernel, device drivers, user land utilities, and documentation, as opposed to Linux only delivering a kernel and drivers, and relying on third parties for system software. FreeBSD source code is generally released under a permissive BSD license as opposed to the copyleft GPL used by Linux. The FreeBSD project includes a security team overseeing all software shipped in the BAS distribution. A wide range of additional third-party applications may be installed from binary packages using the PKG package management system or from source via FreeBSD ports, or by manually compiling source code. Much of FreeBSD's code base has become an integral part of other operating systems such as Darwin, the basis for Mako's, iOS, iPados, WatchOS, and VOS, TrueNAS, an open source NAS, SAN operating system, and the system software for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 game consoles. The other BSD systems, OpenBSD, NetBSD, and Dragonfly BSD also contain a large amount of free BSD code, and vice versa. Next up, OpenBSD. OpenBSD is a security-focused, free and open-source, Unix-like operating system based on the Barclay software distribution, BSD. Theo Derad created OpenBSD in 1995 by forking NetBSD 1.0. According to the website, the OpenBSD project emphasizes portability, standardization, correctness, proactive security and integrated cryptography. The OpenBSD project maintains portable versions of many subsystems as packages for other operating systems. Because of the project's preferred BSD license, many components are reused in proprietary and corporate-sponsored software projects. The firewall code in Apple's MacOS is based on OpenBSD's PF firewall code, Android's Bionic C standard library is based on OpenBSD code, LLVM uses OpenBSD's regular expression library, and Windows 10 uses OpenSSH, OpenBSD Secure Shell, with LibreSSL. The word open in the name OpenBSD refers to the availability of the operating system source code on the internet, although the word open in the name OpenSSH means OpenBSD. It also refers to the wide range of hardware platforms the system supports. Moving on, we have NetBSD. NetBSD is a free and open source Unix operating system based on the Barclay software distribution, BSD. It was the first open-source BSD descendant officially released after 386 BSD was forked. It continues to be actively developed and is available for many platforms, including servers, desktops, handheld devices, and embedded systems. The NetBSD project focuses on code clarity, careful design, and portability across many computer architectures. Its source code is publicly available and permissively licensed. Flying our way is Dragonfly BSD. Dragonfly BSD is a free and open source Unix like operating system forked from FreeBSD 4.8. Matthew Dillon, an Amiga developer in the late 1980s and early 1990s and FreeBSD developer between 1994 and 2003, began working on Dragonfly BSD in June 2003 and announced it on the FreeBSD mailing lists on July 16, 2003. Dylan started Dragonfly in the belief that the techniques adopted for threading and symmetric multiprocessing in FreeBSD 5 would lead to poor performance and maintenance problems. He sought to correct these anticipated problems within the FreeBSD project. 
due to conflicts with other FreeBSD developers over the implementation of his ideas, his ability to directly change the codebase was eventually revoked. Despite this, the Dragonfly BSD and FreeBSD projects still work together, sharing bug fixes, driver updates, and other improvements. Intended as the logical continuation of the FreeBSD 4.x series, Dragonfly has diverged significantly from FreeBSD, implementing lightweight kernel threads, LWKT, an in-kernel message passing system, and the hammer file system. Many design concepts were influenced by Amiga OS. A BSD with a graphical user interface, GhostBSD. GhostBSD is a Unix-like operating system based on FreeBSD, with Mate as its default desktop environment, GNOME was the previous desktop environment, and Ansys desktop community-based edition. It aims to be easy to install, ready to use and easy to use. The project goal is to combine security, privacy, stability, usability, openness, freedom and to be free of charge. Prior to GhostBSD 18.10, the project was based on FreeBSD. In May 2018 it was announced that future versions of the operating system would be based on TrueOS. In 2020, with the discontinuation of TrueOS, GhostBSD switched back to FreeBSD. A BSD made in the dark, Midnight BSD. Midnight BSD is a free Unix, desktop-oriented operating system originally forked from FreeBSD 6.1, and periodically updated with code and drivers from later FreeBSD releases. Its default desktop environment is a lightweight user-friendly desktop experience. A BSD distribution that has been discontinued, TrueOS. TrueOS, formerly PCBSD or PCBSD, is a discontinued to, Unix-like server-oriented operating system built upon the most recent releases of FreeBSD current. Up to 2018 it aimed to be easy to install by using a graphical installation program, and easy and ready to use immediately by providing KDESC, Lumina, LXDE, MATE, or XFCE as the desktop environment. In June 2018 the developers announced that since TrueOS had become the core OS to provide a basis for other projects, the graphical installer had been removed. Graphical and user-orientated OCs formerly based on TrueOS were GhostBSD and Trident. TrueOS provided official binary NVIDIA and Intel drivers for hardware acceleration and an optional 3D desktop interface through Gwyn and Wine is ready to use for running Microsoft Windows software. TrueOS was also able to run Linux software, in addition to free BSD ports collection and it had its own TXZ package manager. TrueOS supported OpenZFS and the installer offered disk encryption with Jolly. Development of TrueOS ended in 2020. Now for a bit of history behind the name, BSD which stands for Berkeley Software Distribution. The Berkeley Software Distribution or Berkeley Standard Distribution BSD, is a discontinued operating system based on Research Unix, developed and distributed by the Computer Systems Research Group CSRG, at the University of California, Berkeley. The term BSD commonly refers to its open-source descendants, including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, and Dragonfly BSD. BSD was initially called Barclay Unix because it was based on the source code of the original Unix developed at Bell Labs. In the 1980s, BSD was widely adopted by workstation vendors in the form of proprietary Unix variants such as Decultrix and Sun Microsystems Sun OS due to its permissive licensing and familiarity to many technology company founders and engineers. Although these proprietary BSD derivatives were largely superseded in the 1990s by Unix SVR4 and OS F-1, later releases provided the basis for several open-source operating systems including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, DragonflyBSD, Darwin, and TrueOS. These, in turn, have been used by proprietary operating systems, including Apple's MacOS and iOS which derived from them, and Microsoft Windows, which used, at least, 
part of its TCP/IP code, which was legal. Code from FreeBSD was also used to create the operating system for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and Nintendo Switch. Okay, that's it for this video folks. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and do be sure to give my videos a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated, and do enable notifications, so that you won't miss out on any future videos. Okay, bye for now.